truthfulness, honesty, virtue, and decency. The ethics that stand behind Islamic finance. A system rooted in principles of fairness, justice, harm avoidance, and equal opportunity. The ethical and sustainable investment foundation providing a pathway to aligning economic and social development growth with environmental stewardship. The role of Islamic finance and climate finance and development finance, these three are not, uh, not, not contradicting with each other. They all are working towards the same goal. We want to be able to protect our progeny and sustain our environment and ensure that it happens in the developmental manner at the customized uh, pace and expectations of our member countries. These are not opposites. We are all working for the same institution, for the same goal, for the same purpose. And that's where we need to align our forces, our uh, ideas. We can certainly have different views on how to sort of go about it. That would enrich the debate and discussion. And, uh, but we need to be very clear about the destination that we want to reach. The Islamic Development Bank is committing 35% of its total annual financing to climate adaptation and mitigation initiatives by 2025, of which 33% has already been achieved. And its financial instruments have been designed to support green investment like the Green Sukuk, an Islamic bond that raises funds exclusively for environmentally friendly projects. Islamic Development Bank is pioneer in the area of Green Sukuk. We have issued the first AAA rated Green Sukuk back in 2019 with an amount of 1 billion euros. The proceeds of the Sukuk were used for both climate action, mitigation and adaptation. Among the examples of the sector that the fund were deployed in include renewable energy, clean motor and clean transportation. What I can note about the market is that the green debt capital market is increasing. For example, the global green bond issuances reached two trillion US dollars last year. The same applies for the green support market, where it reached around 15 billion US dollars. And we expect this trend to continue. The Islamic Development Bank has invested in projects like the Senegal Regional Express train, an eco-friendly fast hybrid train playing a major role in reducing greenhouse gas emissions by decreasing road traffic between Dakar and Diam Niadio. It is the first express train service in sub-Saharan Africa. The ISDB is committed to supporting the second phase of the project. And Turkey's first hydro-solar hybrid power plant, the world's second largest, delivering 590 megawatts of combined renewable energy to the national grid. The project produces clean, environmentally friendly energy for more than half a million people. To reduce global warming, the future is all about collaboration. When governments, financial institutions and international organizations come together, united in the cause. The Arab region, actually, in particular, is the most water-stressed region in the world. It is expected to be able to tackle the challenges it faces. It needs $37 trillion of financing, and right now we're getting a traction of those items. So I think the region and the leadership of the region understands that, and that's exactly why you have huge initiatives, oil sustainability program initiatives, Middle East Green Initiative, environmental funds, um, and so on and so forth, the Saudi Green Initiative. These all initiatives to sort of tackle the, the issue of climate change in an environmental, inclusive, just manner is something that we're really witnessing the, the region taking a lead in. That's also happening in Jordan. That's also happening a lot in Egypt with the Nawafi program. And I, I can only remain optimistic that it'll keep on continuing and we, can, we should be able to get a scale up on these things uh, better and more. An increasingly important player in addressing the global climate crisis, Islamic finance is gaining traction. Since its inception in the 1970s, the Islamic finance industry has grown to almost $4 trillion globally, and it is expected to exceed $6 trillion by 2026. This capital will be a critical contributor to the almost $200 trillion estimated global cost to reach net zero carbon emissions by 2030. Innovation is becoming more and more important into the green debt capital more. Actually, we think they are, the innovation is critical to be able to mobilize more funds and investment from the global capital markets toward the climate action agenda. 
Example of the innovations uh, include transition succoke, loose succokes, where we see them as scalable instruments that can be used to mobilize more capital into the climate action agenda. The second area of innovation where we can see is on the standards for green financing. This covers the standards related to eligibility standards for green, reporting standards, and result measurement standards. What we can see is that the investors are also requiring those kinds of innovations, mainly the uh, socially responsible investors and the EEG investors, where they are able to invest not only for return, but also for development and impact. The underlying principles of Islamic finance offer a path towards a more equitable and environmentally conscious global economy. In harnessing those, we can find a path towards sustainability and a way to preserve our planet.